Hey everybody. So I am live again doing some drawing for uh, the Chubby's Burgers series. I'm hoping you enjoy this uh, live stream. So I want to get back to the work that I'm creating for. Here on my screen, you can see, we'll just go to my character. All right, this is mine. We'll load him up. I'm going to share the stream out. Just give me just a second. Let's copy that link. And get some friends in here from Twitter, just in case they're interested. <clears throat> so we'll go, well, this is mine, so I'll go to the diner first. I don't know, I'll go to mine first. Okay, so. So I'd go live again with drawing Chubby's Burgers traits. Join me on YouTube if you'd like. Probably a spell check every once in a while. See what I'm creating, what I'm cooking up. up today. All right, got the link and go live again. Uh, drawing Chubby's Burgers traits. Okay. Let's tweet that baby out. Then we'll go to the diner. We'll share that one. And then let's get back to drawing. How's that sound? All right. Now I'll look me up. I'm right there. Wondrous. No, that's the wrong thing. That's not what I wanted. I'm going to quote tweet that. So it would probably be a good idea to throw some um, hashtags in. NFT. Order. Nah, it's not an order up. Let's say int, uh, NFT crypto. NFT crypto. And what do we want to call it? Art. There we go. Cool. And now. Tweet that, but I'm also going to tag some of my heroes in here. So let's do a comment. Wouldn't it just be the coolest? At Mark Kessler. Where is he? Score Kistler. Maybe I can only tag him. Oh, man. oh, there he is. My childhood. Childhood drawing hero. Join the stream. Ender Mark. Follow him now. Mark 
make me. Oh, let's see if he even likes it. All right, I'm gonna actually hashtag Commander Mark. Bet it's there. We'll find out later. Hopefully, it's not some crazy weird person. And tweet. And tweet. There we go. Tweeted. All right, now I can keep drawing. So, all right, I'm going to go back to the live stream, eh? Close this. Any friends? No friends. That's okay. Five minutes in, I have. It's called Freedom Fried. So I'm to the point now where I need to erase the pencil lines that I created first. But I don't know where my pencils are. I mean, my erasers are. Uh, they're very little, and I probably pocketed those. Oh, there they are. All right. So I'm going to erase my pencil lines. I draw very lightly, so that's not going to be very exciting while I'm drawing these for you guys in, um, in this live stream. But we'll give it a shot. You... No. There we go. Okay. There we go. How's that? That's good. Okay. So generally what I do, you know what? I'm going to bring this guy down. We don't need to be so tall. Why are we tall? Let's be close to the action here. Be careful. I just super glued this mount back on. Yikes. Here's some crackling. Ain't good. All right. That's a little closer to the action. Jeez. Okay. Please forgive my mess around my studio. I, I read an article. Or, you know what? I was in a space, maybe, or it was a YouTube video or something. Um, the speakers were talking about how people who create have messy rooms have higher IQs and they're more creative. I don't know about the higher IQ. I don't think my IQ is super high, but my creative, my creative intelligence is pretty good. Um, hence I'm an artist and I, you know, create stuff. So yes, messes galore. I'm pretty good at creating messes. Not so good at organizing the stuff back together. They did say that the mess helps with the creative process. Um, uh, but maybe my memory is good because I have to remember where things are. So I guess I use all my memory energy to remember where I put stuff because I didn't organize it. And then I have no memory for other things like, um, I don't know, remembering to show up to appointments on time. So I could reallocate some of that memory stuff and that would probably be a good idea for me. So let's just check in one more time here. Oh, and we have four likes. That is pretty good. Does not mean we're going to convert to followers on the stream, but whatevs. Oh, it'd probably be a good idea if I put. I put the stream link in, which I didn't put in this. Um, there we go. Boom. All right, so now people know how to get there. Still nobody, but we got some likes. So traction on Twitter is good. It's good for the more good for the brand, I guess. I am going to move my space tran, time, trans space time control panel out of the way, and I'm going to move into the shot a little bit. It's hard to move my antique um, movie theater seat. Oh, again, memory. I always have my pencil behind my ear, but I did. For Okay, so I've got the uh, Freedom Fried, French fries. There's not really a political statement there. It's just a fun play on words. You, But you can do with it what you want to if you believe that you know, freedom is not for the masses. Play it with this how you will. I just wanted to have a fun little package for the French fries here. All right, if we look back at my drawings, uh, I turned the uh, french fries around because I thought the big side should be facing the burger. These will go, you can see, well, I'll point to it here. So the fries will go here against the back of the burger and then they'll be sprouting out around here. So 
I needed to turn those around. I figured this was the wrong way. So just put the back to the burger. Um, I think I'll do some mac and cheese, but I definitely want to do some more top buns. Um, so Calvin's spaceship might be kind of fun. That'd be a special. Um, Homer's donuts, the crunchy eye, <laughs> the eye of whatever this is called, the thing that conspiracy theorists use to point to the U.S. government being a elite group of um, people who are trying to take a control of our lives. I thought that would be kind of fun to put it as a top bun in just a few. Uh, Vortex burger, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I want to do a Klaus Olden burger. So I'm going to create the uh, Klaus Oldenburg's overstuffed burger as the top bun. So we'll create a Klaus Oldenburger. I love Klaus Oldenburg, so I thought that'd be kind of cool. Uh, there's a moldy oldie, um, the crud burger, <laughs> which stands for something. I forgot what crud is. It's something about programming. Phoenix is our programmer and it's some dirty thing that he told me about. So throw that in there. Um, so I might work on those today the sides done just so I can see what that looks like. I also somewhere around this mess of a studio have uh, drinks. So I might do French fries, mac and cheese. I want to do a funny one. I might do cheese grits with shrimp as I've lived in South Carolina now for 19 years. I thought that'd be kind of a fun um homage to my steak. I love cheese and uh, shrimp grits. Shrimp and grits is the best food ever. So I might throw some shrimp in there. They'd be alive, obviously, you know. So ocean bugs maybe would go along with the uh, romaine, roaches and romaine topping. So we'll see. We'll see what jumps out of the paper at me. I just thought this would be kind of fun. So this, and we're going to go with Let's do the shrimp and grits. I think that'd be fun. So I want the bowl. The top of the bowl would be like this. I know you can't see. Let's see if turning this off helps. Of course, it does not. You just have to trust me. I can't draw darker. Just hang out for the good conversation. I'll try to be a talker today. Um, the bottom of the bowl would be something like this. Because as you can see here, you can see the bottom of the plate. So using perspective. Thanks, Commander Mark. Um You'd see the bottom of the bowl at the same perspective. It would just be up a little bit higher. But I need this side of the bowl to rest against the hamburger and this side of the bowl to kind of jut out into the air to the side. Uh, so we're going to warp the perspective a little bit. I'm going to stop drawing so darkly. Like, you can see. No, you can't. Let me play with the lighting. And you still can't see. Whatever. You'll see when I ink it. I want light. I want more light there. So do my mound of grits. And again, I'll I'll have it coming out this way, kind of glopped over the edge, because that's fun. Or as Commander Mark would go, he'd make the sound effects like shh, shh. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not I'm not Commander Mark. I, I won't pretend to have as much energy as that man does. He's awesome. Probably stop talking about him since he's not here. Okay, so we've got the mound of grits, like this goopy pile here. Now we need to show that there's cheese melted on it. How am I going to show this? Hmm. Cheese melted on my grits. Well, let's do a little fold of cheese here. So like it's an American cheese slice, which is not how you make sh shrimp and grits. Don't get me wrong. This is just supposed to look kind of funny. We'll do a little fold of cheese here. And maybe maybe a shrimp could be laying under it as a blanket, like it's warming up. Kind of like that idea. We'll have one shrimp guy poking out here, raising a fist at the world. How dare you eat me? And trying to escape maybe with the other claw. Okay. I'm just imagining the story of all these little shrimpies trying to escape certain certain death. 
and I'll give them a little eyes here. I know this is not what shrimp look like. I'm not drawing anatomically correct shrimp. I'm drawing fun. I'll give them little pinchers on their claws. I don't know who would order shrimp and grits with their burger, but you know, this is really just about celebrating food, celebrating diversity of people who eat the food, celebrating the cultures around food, at least American cultures. And I'm American, so that's what you get, guys. Uh, this guy is going to be, yeah, I'll draw him under the cheese kind of as a blanket. That'll be cute, as my mom would say. Oh, I should have invited my mom and dad. They like my artwork. They're pretty supportive people. And he'll be sleeping. So I'll draw his little antenna hanging down like this. And then on the other side of the cheese, why not have the tail of the shrimp? What does a shrimp tail look like? I've eaten a million and a half of them. Shrimp. So this is called research. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kind of curls up like that. Okay. And then they're, I don't know what this is called. Delicious, I guess. No, you don't need my location. That's just silly talk. Okay. I'm going to put, I'm going to close the Weebly window down. You guys don't need that. Or do we need that? Okay, there we go. All right, so probably want, <clears throat> in the case that we have, I don't know, a small little, a small burger over here, or a small sandwich, I think I'll have one shrimp that maybe is nibbling on the sandwich that you can only see if the sandwich is little. antenna and then the other little pincher thing could be coming down like this and it's just reaching for the uh which we call it for the for the burger or the sandwich and maybe i'll have one who's escaped so i'll draw the whole body here And I don't know exactly where this will go. I do know that this part's hanging over the edge. So I have to be really careful about where I put it. And then I'll put the little tail up like this. Yeah, that works. I think this will work. If it doesn't work, I'll modify it. No big, no big whoop. Maybe he's waving to his friends, like, I made it out. Keep drawing their little antenna like they're devil horns. These shrimp are delicious. They're not devils. They sacrifice their lives for, for my pleasure. Well, they don't sacrifice them. We steal them from the ocean, and then we eat them. And because this goes behind the tray, this won't be seen. So I think we're good. Again, if I need to, I'll, I'll fix it later. No oh, big whoop. All right. I think I can ink this. So start with the thick side of my marker. Let's go back and check something real quick. Come on, work. Oh, five. Oh, that's nice. I don't know who these people are. Let's check to see who these people are. Are they our friends? Has anyone Commander Mark? There's no Commander Mark. Come on. I'm so sad. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we're just going to put it on this. All right. Nope. I need to see. There we go. 
I need to see what you see sometimes. All right, so I use the thick side because I need I need to create a thick line around the outside so that it matches the line work done here. It's very hard that once once you've stopped drawing next to what I've already drawn, it's hard to get the line quality the same. So I kind of have to do some guesswork. I'm going to go just around the outside with that line and really, really, really just hoping that th this line quality is, is correct. So I'll go around the claw, but I won't do the, the little spiky pieces in the claw. I'll do that with my fine tip. Again, I'll go around the outside of the tail, but I won't do the the little pieces inside. I'm trying to vary my line quality all the way around, skipping over where the antenna are because they need their own little space. Vary the line quality on the curve, line quality on the curve again. I'll hold this up so you can see it in just a second. I right, get the little drippy part of, you know, like grits aren't super drippy, but I wanted to play around with this idea that they were gooping along the edge and they are kind of goopy. If you make them well, they're really good. And thick grits are better than not thick grits. Okay. The outside of the bowl, because this is the bottom, it won't matter. So I, I don't really care about the line quality here but I do want to enclose it in case I, I use the paint bucket in photo P to color that in. Oh yeah. All right. So I forgot. Sorry that I keep putting my hand up in front of the camera. This claw is in the front, so it's overlapping the claw behind it. Okay. And the rest I can do with the fine tip. All right, so what you're starting to see come together is, I think that's a little better for you to see. So I'm telling a, a fun story with these shrimp that are, they shouldn't be alive. Like if they've been cooked, you know, like they're not, they're not escaping anything. But I also like to, to tell stories with my artwork. So they're alive, just like the roaches and the roaches in Romaine Topping. So if somebody gets both of these, you are welcome. It's my pleasure to draw for you. All right. So I'll do the cheese on that's dripping down the side of the grits. So the way cheese grits actually work is that you put cheddar inside them, like shredded cheddar, and then it melts together and becomes really stringy and goopy and more delicious than it would have been without the grit, without the cheese. Okay, before I draw that piece of cheese, I need to draw the arm of the shrimp hanging over the blanket of cheese. Get the spiky parts of its claw. Um, the cheese flap goes there, here. <sighs> Changing sides would have been nice of me to do for you. I wonder if I could do that now. Where does this cord go? Ugh, if I unplug, let's see what I'm doing. All right, let's see. Maybe this will work. Oh, yeah. Right handed people. I mean, I've heard tell that we're smarter, but sometimes I don't know. There we go. Let's see if you guys can see that better. I'm gonna poke this down through some stuff on the floor. Let's tip the camera downward. Oh yeah. How's that for you? How do you like that? We good? Now you can see what I'm doing. Oh, look at that. Wondrous. I'm very happy about this. Okay. I want to play 
like I want to play some uh, some other spaces, but that's not really cool of me to do. Oh well. That's okay. Oh, you know what? I could listen with my headphones. I could support some friends who are. Oh no, that's my 360 connector for my 360 camera. I don't want to drop that. All right, well, I dropped the headphones in there. There they are. I got them. All right, do I have enough power? Oh, yeah, 50% is good. While I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to be listening to some other people, and I feel like this is pretty good because I won't be recording their space without them knowing. So I don't mind recording our spaces, the order up spaces, but I do remind, I do mind recording other people. So bear with me as I connect. What did I do? There. Okay. Right earbud. And I don't have, like maybe if Chubby's Burgers sells out, I'll be getting some AirPods, but I don't really care that much. I'm good with wires sticking out of my head. Oh, spaces. Who's running a cool space? Go back to Gumar. I've been listening to uh, to Fugazi today. I'm a huge Fugazi fan, so I thought, um, you know what? Do I want to listen to a Space or do I want to listen to some punk? I want to listen to some punk. Also, I can't play that. There we go. All right, so it's Green Day on right now. That's cool though. All right, so I'm going to be varying wine quality this whole time, which means it's going to take me a little bit. I really should send my parents an invite to this. It'd be kind of fun to have them join. I don't think my niece is um, out of school right now. She's an artist, too. She's a good artist. And my cousin's daughter is a good artist too. It's really fun to see her drawings on Instagram. But as they are minors, I don't want to tell you their Instagram handle. So all right, cheese blanket getting finished up. Oh, you know what I could do? I could link people over to... No, Instagram doesn't have good linking capabilities. When are they going to fix that, you know? I want to be able to link stuff from Instagram and have it open like it does in Twitter. You're not leaving the app. You're staying in the app to see what people have linked to. I hope people can like really, really see this once the whole thing is colored in. Skip ads. Oh, dead Kennedys. Heck yeah. 
be the most productive person today. Uh, it's holiday in Cambodia. It's a pretty sad song. I need to get the misfits on. California Uber Alice. My bad. All right, as I'm drawing these, I have to keep in mind that I want to add in little corn chunks and finely ground grit pieces. So some of those may extend past the top parts. So I want to add that in. Check my slacks. My team is slacking. They're not slacking. They're a great team. Uh, they're using slack, therefore slacking to me. Huh, maybe. Sweet. Phoenix is the man. I actually probably ought to just type that to him. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> all right, 33 minutes in, I only have, I've only drawn all of one. And man, I'm usually faster than this. I did kind of make this up as I went though. So the imagination takes some energy. Using my creative energy instead of my uh, IQ. What, what is creative intelligence called? CI? What's my CI score? Is that more important than my IQ? I don't know. I already have a job. I don't need to my, know my IQ. And now I have a job in Web3. Must be a high enough IQ to be successful. All right, so I also pay attention to where my lines are intersecting other lines because you could make, you know, lines intersect in a way that's less visually pleasing than other intersections. So pay attention, pay attention to what you're doing. And for any of you who don't know, I'm an art teacher. So I always talk to my students about line quality like paying attention to what you're doing, really planning things out. And sometimes the kids listen, sometimes they don't. And that's how we learn. You gotta do things your way. And if you like it, keep going. You'll probably find somebody else who likes it. And if you don't like it and you come back and say, um, Mr. Ken, what did you say to do about wine quality? I'm there to help. Unless you didn't listen in the first place. I'm like, eh, go back and Find somebody who listened. Don't 
waste my energy. But generally, I am pretty happy to talk to the kids about what they could do better. So it's rare that I'll say find somebody else. This guy's smiling because he escaped. He's got a regular people mouth, which I know is, you know, that's not anatomically correct for a shrimp. But these are cartoons, friends. Cartoons don't need to be anatomically correct. Hey, we have a friend here with a like. Hey, friend. I don't know if the lives, if the, uh, what are those comments are working or not? I do have it set to 10 second delay for slow mode. I like people who think before they, before they write. As you could ask my friends, it'd be a good idea if I had slow mode on for everything because my typos are sometimes the most careless typos. There. <clears throat> hey, whoever our friend is, leave a little comment what you think if you can see this. I don't know if you can see. Now, now I'm in the way of my own screen. I can't see anything. And going up and closer would be good there. Now I, I just go to this side. All right, so there's the shrimp and grits with cheese grits. Oh, hey, what's up, Phoenix? <laughs> Line quality. Dang it. Dang it, Phoenix. Go find somebody who listened. <laughs> Had to figure out where to look for comments. I was not looking in the right place. I'm still learning how to live stream. So what do you think of our two sides, the fried freedom and the shrimp and grits with varied line quality? It's like we're professionals. Also, just for the sake of my, <laughs> all right. Can't there. I guess that's parallel in as parallel as it's going to get. Thanks. The, the one on the top is laying under a, a blanket of cheese. The one falling out has escaped. So it's smiling. And the one standing next to the bowl is like, hey, how'd you get out? still alive they're not well cooked that's a bad idea hey thanks for using the term genius on me for a change i don't often i don't often deserve that that uh accolade but i'll take it today just trying to celebrate our foodiological heritage with shrimp and grits here in south carolina And hoping all of these lines are thick enough in comparison to the sandwich lines. I, man, I'm not really sure they are. We'll find out. I may just have to test this and then redraw some parts of this. Although, I don't know. This is pretty close to accurate size, so we shall see. Phoenix, do you think I should invite my parents to this? They might enjoy watching me uh, become a artist on the interwebs. <laughs> it's a bowl full of delicious detail. Need to get more caffeine in me. Hang on. All right, I'm going to find this stream and then text it to my mom and dad. <clears throat> How do I do that? 
Mm-hmm. All right. My channel. There it is. Share. Copy. Hello, Mother Dearest. Please join me in my space on the interweb. We'll see what she says. We'll send it to my mom and dad. And then to my niece. Oh, I have her in as her name on my phone. And I have my dad in as dad. <laughs> Say Hello, parents. I am live streaming my work on the YouTubes currently. If you would like to see what I'm working on and meet my teammate and friend, oh, or a teammater, join us here, colon, paste, paste, YouTube. And let's see what they say. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Phoenix. <clears throat> huh, it's not sending. Well, it will. And now I'm going to text my niece. She's probably at school. I'm going to do it. Oh, no, it's 4.30. She never responds to my texts, though, so we'll see if she does. Or she'll say, who is this? You know who this is. Stop your shenanigans. There we go. Now I'm going to invite more people. Boom. Oh, might as well just keep going. Oh, somebody responded. My mom said she's going to join. Yay. All right. So my mom's coming in. Let's see if she knows how to do this. <laughs> yeah. Kids indeed. All right. Some more texture in the shrimp and grits. Now if we could just get Commander Mark in here. He's not responding to my tweet. Childhood hero. Hurting my feelings. That's all right. He's got more important things to do. He's a busy man. He also is a current art teacher. He runs his own website where he teaches art. Cool guy. Miss his show. It was so weird and kooky and fun. I already loved art, uh, but my brother would watch it with me. And we would just have so much fun. I think I learned a huge amount of, of, about perspective from him and he really helped me other than, you know, like Disney and, and Warner brothers helped me understand that like illustration could be cartoony and just art can be fun. It doesn't have to be super heavy. So cool guy. Hope he shows up. And if he doesn't, he's doing something super important. All right. There we go. We'll do some shading under the bowl. Boom. Okay, eraser time. Nope, these have to be thicker. So mom, if you're in the in the live stream, just like type in a message so I know you're here. <laughs> yeah, all of them being at work and then that's kind of like rubbing in in their face like, oh, I'm on spring break. I'm just wasting my time watching my friend draw. <laughs> but it's cool. We're going to be millionaires. So whatevs.
Put a little shading and texture on the shrimps, especially the one that escaped. This guy is the smart one. Okay, time to erase. How's the audio, Phoenix? I'm trying to run audio straight into like using the. <laughs> is it making you hungry? I'm trying to use the audio built into my laptop because when I use audio built into the into my camera, it totally tanked. It just it didn't work well. So I'm hoping the microphone is picking up my my voice well enough. Probably plug in an external mic, but that looks oh good, nice. There we go. It's kind of like I know what I'm doing. All right, I think two is good. I might now go ahead and photograph these guys and email them. That's how I can uh, get stuff over to my computer. I photograph with my phone, edit just a touch, email it to myself, download it into Photopea. Okay, good to go. All right, I always tear these out too uh, because that way they can become flat. So when I photograph this, it's all the way flat. There we go. All right, so I went from this shrimp, I uh, know there's no shrimp in this, butter grits, which are, you know, they're okay. That's more of a breakfast dish, but it definitely needs hot sauce on it to shrimp and grits, and this is all colored with marker. If you couldn't tell, my, uh-oh, let me see what I got here. I'll photograph in just a second. Oh man, so for those of you who don't know, I lived in my 74 Airstream for about four and a half years. And uh, I don't, normally don't get big packages delivered there, but apparently I've forgotten. I don't know what I ordered, but it, there's a big package there. So my landlord just texted me or called me. He said he got my package. So I'm going to have to go pick that up tomorrow. I'll have to call him back in a little bit. Ugh, hot spots on my imagery. There we go. Just making sure I get a great shot. There we go. Pull my antique movie chair back in. It's heavy. This is real heavy. This is not the best chair to have at my drawing table. Oh, Phoenix, yesterday you commented on my drawing table, like the, the texture. That's actually, this is a cork board. <laughs> this is a framed cork board that was hanging on the wall when I moved into the apartment. And the more I moved stuff into my studio, the more I realized I needed to build a drawing table, which, you know, I don't have a big space because I need all the space to do VR stuff. So this is actually a cork board to tack things into. And it bends in the middle, so I really probably ought to put something under it to stop it from bending. Okay, uh, edit. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's move the, let's move this guy again. Maybe that works, okay. So the way I do this is add some exposure, increase the brilliance, don't worry about highlights or shadows, increase the contrast, increase the black point to 100%, then increase brightness. That black point's gonna make all my lines darker. Uh, I wanna decrease saturation all the way to black and white, increase the vibrance, and then sharpen a little, define a lot, reduce noise. And I'll crop it just a little bit more so I don't have to do so much cropping in Photopea. And there we go. So I should have a pretty good um, contrast here. Done. Um, okay, so that's how I work that. I'm gonna email it to myself. I'm not gonna put that on the camera. You'll see it in just a second when I pull the email up. Huh. 
That would be texting. I don't want to text it. There we go. Fries and shrimp. Send. Take this out of my ear. Okay. Just make sure I've got my drawing tablet set up. I've disconnected it. That's, I'm going to need that in just a moment. Put my drawing in a safe place. Here. No, not yet. Okay. So this, what did I connect to this? What did I connect? I have no idea what that is. If I unplug it, it might be a bad thing. If I leave, oh, it's my speakers. I don't need those. That's going to be much easier now. Okay. This is an antique Apple keyboard. I modified it slightly, and I'm super happy that I did. I love it. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, using a scanner or photographing with my phone. I don't have a scanner that scans well. And I say that I scanned all of the original Chubby's drawings with my scanner. I had to, I had to rasterize every bit after modifying them. It took me so much work to get the quality of the drawings up after scanning. Whereas with my phone, it's super fast. And yeah, I immediately have it. I don't need to go between, um, like it, being able to edit as much as I can on my phone versus scanning, editing in the scanning software, then exporting. A and my phone can go everywhere. Like I have a portable scanner. It, the power cable is the data cable. It's amazing, but it's, you know, it's heavy. Um, it doesn't have great um, scanning resolution. Well, I mean, even on the highest resolution, it's not a great scan. So I just use my phone. Okay, we're gonna go to email, download this guy. So yeah, for the, I don't know, what it take like 30 seconds or so to photograph and edit my on my phone. It takes three times longer than that just to, just to set up the scanner. And then I've got to scan it. That takes time. The, the scanning process is a pain. So I just use my phone. Okay, now I want to open that where that is. Show in folder. Fries. Shrimp. And I'll call that sides. Okay, and then I want to move that. So I'm going to go back to this file explorer. And I'm going to throw that into the chubbies. Huh. Well, I'll just go to this and then chubbies. <laughs> I go to Chubby's layers and then create sides, new sides. There, I'll open that and drag that guy in. Boom. Now I know where it is. And I'll go to photo P. I think at this point I'll bring the camera back around and we'll be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you. Change in weather is really, really messing with my old body. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I don't know if you guys can see all the stuff I have in my studio, I got more space, thankfully. Um, but it is kind of there. Oh, that might be good. Let's tilt the camera up. This super glue works great. I had to glue my camera, my tripod back together. I got my 360. So the camera I'm using is part of my 360, my Insta360 camera, which is awesome to have, but I put the one inch lens on it. So it works as a, a webcam, which is way better. You know, I, I've got more usability out of it as a webcam right now than my laptop camera. 
Okay, so new project. Nope, I don't want to go to new project. I want to go to open from computer. Chubby's Burgers, Assets. No. What did I call it? Sides. Huh. That's not good. NFT layers. Was that it? That's not it. Hey, look. Okay, so I've got that. All right, I'm going to go to file open. Where did they go? Chubby's Burgers. Should be called sides. It's not there. <laughs> I thought it. <laughs> hey, mom. Nova Sage is Phoenix. He's the he's our developer. So it's not in prototypes. I'm glad you figured out how to get in here because now that you're in here, I'm having trouble figuring out how to get to the stuff I just made. What in the world? Well, it's a good thing we doxed ourselves, Phoenix, because my mom's last name is showing. <laughs> so, full on dox here. Now you all know how to find all of me. Where is it? Where did I just. Oh, sides right there. There we go. Okay. Can I get this closer so people can see what? I invited my niece too, mother, but she hasn't responded to me. Okay. All right, now you guys will be able to see if I just zoom in and zoom in. We'll go to Phoenix's favorite side, the shrimp and grits. Oops. How's that looking? Solid, I think. Okay. Now this is where the magic happens. I can plug my phone back in so it doesn't die. Goodness. Or I can just throw it on the ground so it does that. All right, I'm going to select all of the black area. Let's make sure. Oh, you are kidding me. Okay, non contiguous. All. Explaining to middle schoolers. <laughs> okay, thanks, Mom. Explain to middle schoolers the difference between contiguous and non contiguous is extremely difficult. There we go. There. Okay, now I've got to rest. Nope. Um, vectorize the bitmap. I'm not even going to try to explain what that means. This is going to take a while. There we go. Oh, no. What happened? I don't like that. Oh, it's because of this. So I'll do two colors. There we go. So now I've got, so here you can see, well, maybe you can see that's super grainy. This is smoothed out. So uh, vectorizing means I turn these into lines rather than little pixels. Okay. Now I can go back. I, I don't have to rasterize that now. Rasterizing would turn it back into pixels. I could if I want to, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that right now. So what I want to do is create a layer here. I generally create one layer per color. <laughs> yeah, what's the name of that restaurant you like, Phoenix? Oh, she's doing homework. Tell her to stop. It's not school anymore. Tell her I'm a t like as a teacher, I get to say that. Stupid homework. What's wrong with the teachers? Don't kids do enough work at school? Okay, time to become a digital artist. What can I unplug? What does this go to? Probably nothing important. Probably out of check though. Oh, yep, nothing. That just goes to a keyboard I don't need. Okay. Plug in my, whoa. That wasn't bad shock or anything. That was just me. Oh no. Okay, you're good. Fleet's landing. Yeah, we got to tag them again. Let's see what they say about this. Um, 
a digital pen. Is it on? Sure is. Okay. So we're going to go with the creamy grits color, I think, for this layer. So this is a little bit green, so that'd be gross. So I want to go to the yellow. Give it just a little bit of a darker um, tint, shade, darker shade. And then I'm going to get my pen, uh, paintbrush and begin coloring. So I'm going to enhance the size of my brush. That's probably good. All right, so I'm coloring below the black layer. And what I'm going to do is just trace the outline of where this yellow goes and then use the paint bucket to fill it in so this doesn't take me an hour and a half just to color this. Now, my computer is a little slow. My internet is a little slow. So this is lagging a little bit, so I have to be very patient. If it starts to glitch, I like to stop and let it catch up and then keep going. So there we go. So I'll do just this section. And then I'll color it. Well, I'll use the paint bucket and color that in. I'd like to have my cousin's daughter in here, who's a pretty cool artist too. There we go. So I guess you can move this away. Let the light of the screen show you the colors. She's a pretty cool artist too, but I don't, I'm not going to stop and Instagram that one out because you can't even, you can't click a link in Instagram, which is so weird to me. What am I doing? Oh no. Well, I have to add a color. I have to add black in here. I forgot to ink that line in. Did I forget to ink the line in? I sure did. Huh. That's all right. I'll fix it in a second. So all of these are super small, so I'll just color these in by hand. And I probably ought to copy and paste some of these textures into the sections I just colored in because it doesn't have much going on in them. So, Mom, this is the process. This is my process for creating NFTs. Phoenix's process looks different than this. His job is to put code to use and uh, and then, you know, get these, get the whatever images we generate, 5,282 of them, into a safe place on the internet. And then we get to sell them. All right, I'm going to go back to my, this layer. Black, smaller, oh yeah, okay, well, I'm going to rasterize, boom, okay, good enough, now, I'm using my what is this called? Oh, well, it's an old Apple mouse, the scroll wheel. This thing is my favorite mouse ever. So I can I can move around like that on the keyboard. I just zoom in. So that makes my life a lot easier. All right. So there. Let's move that out. And that's where the shrimp's tail comes off of the grits. There we go. And now I'm recognizing that I missed a little bit of the... Uh, missed a little bit of the yellow. Right behind that. Okay. Now I'm going to erase the yellow grit section here and color that in with like a weird grayish pink for the shrimp. So I was saying earlier, it'd be kind of funny if whoever ordered the shrimp and grits also got the uh, the romaine, the roaches and romaine on there as this 
You you haven't seen this, Mom. So that was the original bowl of grits that I made. It was butter grits. You don't put butter on shrimp and grits. You put hot sauce on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry too now. I gotta put my what? All right, now I can check because if there's a background on this, I want to make sure that the background doesn't show through the colors. So I definitely have to go back through and just make sure I've got all my colors in here. Because there's nothing left um, for anything to show through. That looks pretty good. All right, and as the, oh, right there. As I did forget to put some texture in. Oh my gosh, I forgot a lot of these areas. There. There we go. Uh, that's the shrimp's face. Okay. So this is going to be my yellow layer. I do that in case I want to change the hue. Um, changing the hue of all the yellows is a lot easier than finding each separate layer. Okay, uh, cheese yellow. American cheese slice yellow, right there. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. No, is that perfect? It's not quite different enough. All the way up. A little bit more orange. Oh, yeah, that, hey, this isn't really cheese color is definitely what this needed. Boom. All right. Now I'll do the same thing. I'll just trace the outside edges. So I'm still sad. Commander Mark hasn't shown up. I'll give them a little more time. What the heck there? Okay. Cool. That works. Where's the rest of the cheese? There's cheese. Um... Did I only put two pieces of cheese on? Oh, well, that's okay. Now, before I add color to the texture of the grits, I need to add more texture, like that section. So go back to that layer. Copy that, paste that. And this is what you call cheating. Let's do one more. And we'll just change the size. It looks even different, more different. We'll put those guys in there. Now let's rotate those. Oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I like that. And then just so it doesn't look like I copied and pasted a bunch of my own work, let's put this. Oh, uh uh. Where did that go? Okay, let's try it again. Why? Okay, I know what to do. Erase. There we go. Wonderful. And I think that's everything. Create a gritty grits right in here. CD. Hi. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, I know why it's doing that. Because I have to go back to here. See, copy paste. There we go. No. Oh. 
there. There we go. Perfect. And let's merge those layers. Okay. And sticking with the yellow layer, add just a slightly more yellow, dark yellow to that. No. Why did you do that? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. Okay, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see that dif the color differentiation on the internet. Should be in the NFT though. I should have created Doodle Shrimp. Could have called it a fake collaboration. Oh, good. Thanks, Phoenix. Oh, I'm running low on probably memory on this computer. It's slowing down a lot. But if I restart, I end the live stream. So I'll just keep going for now. Phoenix, tell Raina to be on vacation. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to call the next because that's going to be a lot of different colors. I can play with the coloration of them all together, so I think they'll be safe. Get, uh, I'm going to do the happy shrimp last. We'll do this shrimp that's eating the food first. Oops, wrong way. Come on, the shrimps. Shrimp is, shrimps is not plural. Shrimp is plural. Oh, well. It's probably a good thing my niece is not watching this. Bad role model. All right, I think that's a good gross color right there. Oh, yeah, perfect. I wouldn't eat that. Oh, my gosh, it's so laggy. Uh, all right, there we go. I might as well just color this guy all by hand. I might end up ending this live stream because this is getting pretty laggy. And I'd prefer to be productive then. You know, this drawing tablet was a fairly inexpensive one. It was like $25. It has lasted me five years. And my uh, Wacom or Wacom, whatever you call them, lasted me two. And that thing was expensive. So um, I do not know the name brand of this. Oh, Mono Price. It's, it's since gone up in price. It was for on Amazon when I found it, it was like $25 since they've gone up, but it is so worth it. Whatever the price is now, this is the one to go with. It works with everything. There were no drivers, no hardware to install, or no software to install, I mean. It's pretty solid stuff.
Uh, is it? All right, so I'm going with Twy because that's what I see Phoenix writing. Hey, Twy. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. So currently I am cooking up some shrimp and grits. These shrimp are enjoying a delicious bed of grits. Uh, they're fairly alive. So there'll be a side for our Chubby's burgers. I'll, I'll do a mock-up. Maybe I'll do a mock-up before I'm done here. Yeah, I'll do a mock-up of what this looks like on the Chubby's burgers tray. That might be kind of fun. I don't know how rare this one should be. I like it a lot. So not all Chubby's burgers will have sides. Some will, some won't. And then each side can have its own rarity. <laughs> all right, I need more time to get to the mock-up. Especially considering how slowly this is going right now. It's really frustrating. It is my best working computer though. <laughs> I cannot wait till we sell and I can buy a new one. So I, I wanna get a really, really nice graphics laptop that I can plug in a, a VR headset into so I can play um, VR games in the headset from the PC, which would be really nice even using um, spatial because spatial on a PC is super fast. And in, in my Oculus, sometimes it's kind of slow to, to jump in. Oh my gosh. Come on. You can do it. We only have a few more colors. All right. I'm going to go back to the quick method. This is getting crazy. So there is another even quicker method, which I'm going to deploy momentarily. Come on there. And I wish I'd thought about it. So here's the quicker method. Go back to a mouse. Oops. Uh, I'm going to select that. Nope. Um, contiguous, and I will just this hold shift. Yep, should have done this a while ago. So check this out. I might as well do this shrimp too. Phoenix is probably like, dude, I could have told you this an hour ago. All right, I'll get those little pieces by hand. All right, now if I, I think I've got everything. Yep. So if I go to select, modify, expand, let's say three pixels, that goes a little bit over. Go back to my shrimps, go to the paint bucket, and boom. Done. Why didn't I do that earlier? Okay, now I can, wow, what a dope. Ugh. All right, there we go. And now I need their red eyes because shrimp are weird. No, uh-oh, uh-oh, broke my pen. Come on, there. Oh yeah, that's that's beyond creepy. I could do glowing eyes, that'd be fun. Let's do glowing eyes and see what happens. No, I can't, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, Rosemary is said to help increase your memory. <laughs> I hang out with Rosemary all the time. She doesn't increase my memory. 
No, I fixed it. I had to tape it. Okay, Zoom. There we go. Okay. I'm going to pull the same stunt on that again, and then we'll create a new layer. She might actually make me forget things. She's distracting. I know that's not who you're talking about. I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. A couple more spaces. And that guy. We'll go to select, modify, expand, three, and boom. And let's call that red. Red Bull? Red Bull. I'm good with the Red Bull. Oh, that's above it. Don't like that. Let's go below the yellow. Done. Maybe. So now, here's here's why I separate the layers by color. Because I can now go to image, adjustments, and play with the hue. And I'm going to change that to, let's say, blue. Oh, blue is too much. Yeah, well, I was thinking that blue. But that's like, let's go with lightness. Let's light. Oh, oh it's darkening. it. Let's go to light blue. I don't know. Maybe that's just too much contrast. We like blue or red better. I kind of like red. What do you guys think? Blue or red? Let me get some more caffeine. I think the red makes the, the whole thing stand out better. Oh, the other thing I could do. This might be kind of cool. Let's go to green. So neon. That's the green I want. We're going to darken that green. Hmm. That's not the green I want. Yeah, something right around there. Orange? Yeah, I'll try orange. I think orange will be too much like the grits. Desaturate? About that. So the cool thing about this is I could change these. <clears throat> and we can do different bowl colors. It'll make people feel like they got gypped. All right, I'll try orange. Went too far. It's like a brown. Let's saturate that back up. Lighten. What do you think, Mom? Phoenix, you like the blue? Which blue? The light blue or the the um, the dark teal? Yeah, I do use red for a lot of the other stuff. Yeah, the French fries will be red. So this has to be, I'm thinking light blue or teal. Let's go back to that light blue. <laughs> I'm getting conflicting responses here, people. I need someone else to make up my artistic decisions. Twy is still here. Twy, what do you think? Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, I should probably shut my pen off so it doesn't die. All right, I'm going to go to... Huh. You know what? Uh, I have learned repeatedly the hard way. Save. What? Twilight. Oh, cool. Twee. Very cool. All right. Twee. Twee, what do you think? Teal. Okay. Right, I'm down with teal. I like it. go darken whoa whoa where are you going there buddy 
I need to reduce my saturation and go more blue. Uh, we're getting close. Increase the lightness. There we go. It's very much like the color of the chug of the NFT cola bottle, but I'm okay with that. They won't both be on the same. Well, maybe they will be. That's okay. I like it. We're going to saturate that a little bit, make it a little bit brighter. Yep, we're going to go with that. Okay. <clears throat> I'll save. Okay. Done. Done with side number one. Let's go up and color freedom, uh, freedom fried. I don't know if I... <clears throat> I'm a little bit worried about the line quality on this. Actually very worried about the line quality on this, but we're going to give it a shot. Path. Go with the red. with a different color inside there. Zoom out. Thank you, mother. All right. Uh, no. Okay. Select. Modify. Expand. Three. I'm going to call this fry box. I'm pretty sure I know what color scheme I want on this one, so go slightly here's what i'll go a little bit more orange mount go down. i like that okay now to color oh, shut it off okay Drop that in with the paint bucket. There we go. Come to erase. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. All right. Now another trick I'm going to use. Do the fries. I'm going to use the polygon select. This should still be faster than anything else I might do. I'm just going to select around inside the black. Anything under that black layer won't even see it being different. I know this is exciting for everybody at home. <clears throat> Thanks for bearing with me as I click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. Uh, again, with a middle school anecdote, when I teach my students how to use this tool, they like, uh, well, they have Chromebooks and trackpads on Chromebooks are the worst thing that has ever been invented. But when I give them mice, they like to click really, really fast. And, um, you know, they have trouble controlling their fine motor skills. 
which frustrates them. And it frustrates me too, but not because of them. It frustrates me because they have trouble with it. Um, so they're constantly having to do little pieces at a time when they, when they use this tool. Uh, so sometimes I laugh, like I have to go to my desk and put my head behind my monitor and laugh. And sometimes I just feel so badly for them. And I think, ah, oh, if I could just do it for you. But they'll never learn that way. Part of me thinks that kids have worse fine motor control than they ever have in the past uh, because adults get frustrated and do things for them rather than letting them fail and continue to try because adults are losing patience uh, and don't realize how much uh, the older generation gave to us by being patient with us. All right. Like my dad, I think I probably stripped every screw and every deck that we built, but he kept handing me the drill and that always shocked me. That was pretty interesting. Oh yeah. Those look crunchy. Oh no. What happened here? Oh, I'm missing part of the black. Okay, I can fix that. Um, edit, step forward. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but right here, it's giving me an outline for a little squiggle that would have defined the edge of that fry but it's missing. Um, so if I select it on the original layer, copy it, go back to this path and paste that in, now it's over top. So while I freak out sometimes, quite often there's no reason to freak out. So now I just have to shade the fries, add in the colors here, and then I'll be good. I am gonna end the stream because my computer is getting far more, low. oh. Polygon click is great, but it's down for maintenance. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, Phoenix, gas fees on Polygon click are pretty, pretty solid. So, <laughs> ETH, ETH select. Yeah, that would be pretty solid. <laughs> oh, for our friends who are in this live stream who have no idea what we're laughing about, we're sorry. Um, but we do need to laugh because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, but, and the, the Web3 space is often just broken and we have to laugh about it. Otherwise, we'll cry and quit and never become financially independent. So it's worth dealing with the struggles. All right. Thank you all for joining. Mom, thank you for always encouraging me to chase my artistic dreams. Without you, I wouldn't be sitting here in a room alone talking to a computer. So this was all you. Thanks for that. <laughs> and for everybody else, Phoenix, thanks for being on the team. You're awesome. Twee, thank you for showing up. It's really cool to have more than one person in here who it would have just been Phoenix until we started inviting people. So thanks for showing up. I'll post the live stream on our Twitter page on MetaDiner and um, whatchamacallit, on, on mine. Who am I? Gunnar. <laughs> And then I'll, I'll share the link back out. It should be the same link you guys used to get in though. So it shouldn't be a problem. This will be this will be on the our YouTube page forever now until YouTube closes because Web3 destroys it. So you guys are awesome. I am going to shut this down. Thank you for joining. Uh, stay tuned for more live streams from the diner. Bye-bye, guys. Love you, mom. She can't type out I love you back fast enough, so it's fine. I'm just going to end it. You can text me or not.